Hello and welcome to Motorsport Manager. We are in season two with uh, Velen Racing, and the next up event, next event is Sydney. Now this was a special race for us last year. We actually won in wet weather, so um, I don't know if it's going to be wet again, but I'm hoping we can repeat our heroics from last year. But never mind. Let's see. Let's check the mail. Wexler car condition interview no just use this this doesn't help us at all okay Pascal Becker hated by own mechanics maybe you okay car repair finished sponsor oh yeah we have to worry about sponsors Okay, who was here? I think there was somebody paying us from a fixed amount per race. Okay, let's wait a bit. Because our income per race would go down. Okay, there's a vote coming up. Any more sponsors? No. We need a few more people. <sighs> Just a reminder that we are currently 7th in the championship. This is currently worse than our original target of 6th. If you've not met your target at the end of the season, you'll be fired. No pressure. Okay, so we have three races to save our job. Short qualifying sessions. Okay. Against are the big boys. Undecided are these people. We have a lot of voting power. I don't think there will be any more. We'll benefit low quality teams. Yep, low quality. Yeah. Okay, so if you think I'm low quality, I will vote. I will vote for it and i'll vote all okay let's go yeah see two votes from my side and we are approved although we could have saved our vote 10 versus 2 <laughs> all the small teams voted for it now the problem is we may not have a job next season so who knows how this will go okay the new gearbox is ready Upcoming race Sydney. I've prepared a brief race. It will be a 27 lap race, 3.62 miles, 133. Some rain. Oh man, I wish it rains again. We need good, good gearboxes. Okay, so they've built a gearbox. But the gearbox is risky. Okay, let's look at the sponsor. 350 per race. Peach Plum. Oh, Peach Plum are back. Okay, we'll just take our time to explore. Let's no, so these are risky parts. These are very risky. Medium risk, low risk. But this is a good part. What I was thinking was why don't we build another good one? Since we are quite weak on the gearbox. We have oh we have great. Nice. This will take a while, but this is a great gearbox. We have three components we can use here. Now reliability goes down. We want this performance to be as high as possible. So the more we build, the more we unlock, it seems. Acceleration, reliability, 10%. Okay, 677. No, I don't really understand how this works. So let's do acceleration plus 10, acceleration 25 to max, acceleration plus okay, 692. Then we go with build time minus plus 2, acceleration plus 50, risk level plus 1. 742 minus 20 to max. Okay, is this what do we end up with? 782. 742. Poor reliability. See, reliability we could probably sort out by. Mm, yeah, we'll end up with several gearboxes at this rate. See, if we build this one again, we already have two. One, we have a normal gearbox, and we have a excellent gearbox. So. Acceleration plus 25, acceleration plus 15, 
Red zone minus five. So seven hundred two. Seven fifty two. Seven ninety two. Okay, let's build this epic gearbox. Not not epic great gearbox. Okay, the thing is, we already have, if you see, we already have a good gearbox and a average gearbox. So, I want to have both my drivers using the same thing. See, it's 752 versus 648 currently, so it's more than 100 performance-wise. Obviously, reliability is bad, so we'll have to get the reliability up before we try that. But we've built a good one. We are building a great one. If we can afford to build another great one, then we'll have parity. And then we'll give it to them for next season. If we have a job next season. Yeah, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, building so many gearboxes. It's no point. We should have some other way of not having to waste so much. Okay, we have to, I think, check the sponsor. 350 upfront 4 million and fixed 250 so which is better so this is 3.1 million this is 4 million for 12 races hmm. so this is a bit less than this but we have money up front we won't be making as much after the race fixed paper race so I think Peach Plum is overall better bet. But should we go for money up front? Or should we take a fixed per race? And does having these sort of 3 star sponsors make it a better thing? See, 4 million is not a small amount. But we are getting 350 per race. So 10 of these 10, 11, 12 of these would be more than 12 of these. Okay. This is only 10, but we only for 9. Okay, let's take the upfront money. Our income per race will go down. Also, this is also going to end in. So they are paying 200,000. They are paying. Okay, they are not paying any fixed per race so we'll have to increase our fixed amount per race okay it might rain but it, the race itself looks clear so let's just stick with 10 or above because i don't really have a strategy on normal dry tires because it rained last time And this is not a very long lap race, I mean 27. So if you do nine a piece, that's only two stops. If the tire wear is high, it is high. Okay, we'll see, we'll figure something out. Okay, so one more tire we can pick. Okay, let's pick a soft one. Heavy rain in practice and heavy rain in qualifying. So we won't be able to get any practice data on any of the tires. Yeah, this gearbox situation is confusing me. You build a good part, you build a uh, average part, and now you're building a great part. I would just like to use great parts, but it seems we cannot unlock it without uh, making a few. So we are wasting money upgrading our parts. The third gearbox we're building, we're blowing money on gearboxes. So we have weak gearboxes, so that's why I'm trying to do that. See, the reliability can be sorted out by getting them reliable, giving it to the mechanics and they'll sort it out. <coughs> but, okay, so, downforce. I guess then we need more downforce here. Handling, 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 handling. Speed balance, probably slightly towards, okay, let's just leave it in the middle to see what happens. 
probably need an inter for this unless it's dry at the start okay so more down force let's go 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 and we'll just leave it at that okay let's take practice yeah we have fond memories of this track okay we have a dry session um do race trim and take the medium tire 18 to 20 laps so we could actually do a one stopper here okay so the rain is not coming up straight away so we can get some time on the dry I don't remember how practice went last year here was it wet or not but the qualifying and race itself race was completely wet it's like from the start no dry time at all so 18 to 20 is what they're saying hmm. handling feels awesome handling feels superb so we haven't touched the handling and they're happy with the handling need more downforce to the corner we need to run more angle on the wings okay more angle on the wings okay I think it can come in then uh, more angle on the wings handling is okay speed balances they did not mention much about the speed balance so I'm not sure what they want Okay, so more downforce and speed balance is probably going to be shorter as well. Okay, I think you are good. Go and check it out and tell me what you think. Handling is great for him. This is only okay. Okay, no, okay, let's not do too much to the handling. It's already quite good. Okay, out you go. If we can pick up some good points this weekend, that will make life so much easier for us. Overall, we'll have a job next year. We can focus on improving our buildings, etc, etc. Okay, so the arrow is much better. But I'm not seeing an improvement in time. We are actually getting bad to worse. In the drive, we are 18 and 19. Yes, admittedly, we are doing race trim, but I think a lot of the others are also doing that. Speed balance. Okay, speed balance is also better. So, shorter gearing is what they needed. Aero is feeling great right now, just the right setup. Loving the handling. How long is the lap here? 130. So maybe a bit less because this is practice, so. Hmm. 
Okay, we've reached le level 3 restaurant. And it's going to rain, so we might get some time on the entrance as well. Okay, we got excellent and two grades, and we have a good. So we need to sort out the speed balance. Do we need shorter gears? Yes, so this was okay. This is good. So I think we need to go even shorter. Okay, so do some qualifying and use the enter because it is going to rain. We don't want you to come back in again. They may not have the tire. First couple of laps, the tire could get worn out very easily. Okay. On to the inters and we want qualifying on the inters. Let's see. Okay, we won't get much. If, even if we get level 1, I'll be happy. Okay, we have some water on track. Okay, we are first ones on the inters, so... Yeah, we need weather like this in the race to help us out. Okay, handling superb, arrow superb. Okay, water has definitely increased. Handling is spot on, okay. Okay, we have level 1 qualifying, so I think that's what we wanted. Yes, Esteban should be able to do one more lap. Yeah. With her, I'm not sure. Maybe we might be. Yes. We can get done. Okay, some of them were even trying the wet tire. Yeah, it depends if it is wet or inter. Or the race. Okay, so let's save our uh, practice session and head to qualifying. <sighs> At least with rain there is a chance. With complete dry conditions there is no. We can still mess it up and still struggle in the wet but at least there is some hope. We need some rain here. Okay. Okay, these are not laps, so if we go out on the dry, by the time we start our lap, it's probably going to be too wet already. So it might make more sense to go out on the intermediates. So qualifying intermediate. And for him, super overtake mode. Extra engine mode is unlocked, super overtake. And let's pick this and... Uh, intermediate let's try something different mm, no hang on hang on let's change the tires and this could either be a catastrophic mistake or we could get lucky once again because i think by the time we go out finish the out lap and start the lap it's probably going to be too wet so we'll just wait a few moments and then we'll head out Okay guys, uh, let's see what you can do. I think, okay. Sharp and Surikov, I think they are the Panther team. They are going on the... Okay, it's raining now. I think, yeah, see it's already the outlap and it's already raining. So, by the time we start our lap, this will be proper inter-weather. There are other people who are trying this. 
So we are not the only ones who are smart. Okay, let's see what you can do. We have to be faster than Shark. She might get there at the right time. Okay, you have super overtake mode. So let's see what that does. Okay, it does look like it is faster. Okay, definitely. Two purple sectors. Come on, make it a hat trick. Okay, Ribeiro's gone second. 133s. Yeah, I think, see, Sharp is 7 seconds slower, so going out on the Inters was the right move. Okay, too early to say if we have done this correctly. Surely people can't go any faster now. We got our lap somewhere. I can't use the mouse. When the water was increasing, so... Okay, if we go now okay I think we'll have to try if we go again let's go again and if we do that we'll have to use the vets because yeah, I don't think this is I don't know if there's any point but they seem to improve even on the vets no other people not us even the wet tires don't perform as well in like the full wet condition so even like a little bit of water is actually better than full water we'll have to see he has this extra overtake mode which i want to see how it helps in the race in the qualifying we won't use this in the race because we'll have no fuel left so you won't select it for now he's not going faster it makes sense it's more is there's more water and the wet tires cannot be faster than the intermediate tire schmidt is getting close he has improved suddenly lundquist has gone faster okay so far it's looking quite rosy for us please nobody spoil our party once again So instead of going out on the super soft, just holding back and going out on the inter has helped us. But we haven't gone faster. Last year we went faster by using the inter towards the end. Uh, people are going faster, but how much faster? That's the question. No, they're not going far. I think we have pole again. One and two, one and two. It looks like it. it looks like it. People, Parsani is trying. The wolf is trying. Yes, pole position. At least we have something this season as well. I'm not as excited for some reason. Mostly because... I don't think we can do the same in the race again. Yeah, we got at least we'll get some money for the race. Okay, race day. It is wet. Yes. If everybody is on the same tire at the same time, then really it's no advantage there. Okay, this is full wet straight away. Race trim and uh, hard condition pit stop tire change is 50 percent faster uh, okay maybe this could help us light footed super overtake no we can't use the super overtake can we should we that is the question no we'll just uh, run out of fuel we are on the full vets yes everybody else yes everybody's on full vets and what i'll do is i'll tell you guys to use the a little bit more engine at the start so you don't get overtaken just please have good starts last year no the tires are fine 
Okay, we got one and two. Now we need to pull this off again. I think the AI, at least for qualifying, isn't as smart. Come on, Siri, don't mess up. Okay, Ribeiro has messed up. Okay, Ribeiro has messed up. Come on, good job. She has a brilliant start. Last time she was sleeping. Okay, come on, keep this. Okay. Okay, okay, come on, brilliant, brilliant. Just keep going, don't worry about people passing you. They are going to pass you, but never mind. Okay, at least have one lap in the lead. Becker is all over us. Okay, the two Steinmans. Okay, where is he? is down to nine. So instead of her, it's him this time who's forgotten how to do race starts. Is the weather improving all of a sudden? Okay, push a bit. No, 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 don't worry, don't worry. Push a bit, push a bit. Okay, you need to relax. Because I would rather he finish ninth than I get into an accident or something. Okay, she has managed to hold the lead for two complete laps and I think we can be happy about that. I think we need to ease off now. But yeah, that's the problem. She's not getting away. We are good on the straight. She seems to stretch out the lead on the straights but we are probably not as good on the brakes that's why they catch up now we need to make sure our tires last because I think this would be just a one stop in and out oh wow this is monsoon weather thunderstorms everything it's gone dark here Okay, I'm really nervous for some reason. We shouldn't be. As long as we score good points, that is enough. We don't have to worry about winning the race. Can I attack a bit more? I don't really know. You, you, you won't be able to get temperatures anyway. We need a bit more gap. Okay, see, this is now wet weather, so our tires are starting to do well. Okay, we need some of the people at the back to hit each other or something. Come on, build up a lead if you can. We need that Steinman car a bit further behind us. Just to give us some breathing space when it comes to strategy. The okay, tire condition is about the same as everybody else, so... Okay, horse is pushing. Okay, horse is getting closer. Because this is full wet, so hopefully it shouldn't matter. But they're fighting each other, the teammates, Holz and Becker. Okay, this is what we need. We need them to fight each other so we can build up a lead. Come on, Siri, you haven't won a race. Ribeiro has. You also haven't had many podiums, as far as I can tell. This was the only podium last year, so at least try for a podium. And a lot of points could save us, save my job, basically. <laughs> Ribeiro is not improving. He's in ninth. But the thing is, we can't really do anything if it's just completely wet. We just go as long as we can and then change the tire. This is only seven laps in. Our tire conditions tend to drop much sooner than everybody else, so we have to be careful of that. Okay, Holtz is getting close again. Please hold this together holds her together okay this is completely wet there's no change in the weather at all I think she'll pass us the Steinmans will pass us what I would like at this point is the Steinmans to hit each other they are trying see now Becker has moved ahead Okay, the weather is going to ease off. Uh, is it going to ease off enough to... See, Esteban is down to 10 now. 
What are we going to do with that boy? I don't want to move away from here. Okay, Becker is going to make a move. Just keep him close. Don't let him go. Careful, don't let him take the inside. Okay, she has done brilliantly to hold them off for 10 laps. So, 27 laps. So, we do 13 and 10, right? I don't think we can do 13 here. Just hold them, hold them. As long as people don't start passing us, we are fine. The horse is dropping. The Ribeiro is also not doing well on the tire. See, everybody's bunched up, nobody has crashed, so whoever goes in first will just be in trouble. I think people are starting to struggle on their tires, so we are not the only ones. So, this is lap 12. We need a good pit stop, people. We need a good pit stop. If the team messes up the pit stop now, then it will be a complete disaster. Okay, lap 12, lap 12. Okay, this guy, Becker, is now getting too close for my liking. Well, they have been close all race. Okay, now I think we have to pit. We'll have to do 13 and 14. And uh, wets again. It is easing off. Ooh, I hope it doesn't become inter weather. Yes, okay, you can also pit. Because you are far enough to not mess up things. But we need to go back to the race leader. Okay, they are also pitting. So I think we got our pit stops correct. Now, people, pit people, it's your job to sort this out. Becker is in as well. Come on, come on. Oh no. Come on people, you messed up the pit stop. Oh god. We're going to lose the... Okay, push, push on the engine. See if you can. Becker is also pushing. Becker is pushing on the tire. So maybe his tire might go off. Just stay close to him. Our chance is if he his tires go off. Don't fall too far behind him. See, he's pushing on the tire. No, he yeah, he's still pushing a bit more than us. So his tires might start to go off sooner. Sharp and Surikov are going to pit. Come on, you need to get closer to Becker. Four and a half seconds. You are falling back. Sarinen is coming now. Okay, race win is now gone, unfortunately. So we have to forget about Becker. That's a shame. And Sharp and Surikov might actually make it harder for us and Sarinen might get past. Okay, we have to do the same holding thing. I don't think we can hold them this time for some reason. Okay, the water is easing off. Would we have tried going on the Inter? Probably not. There wouldn't have been enough time. Okay, just try and hold Sarinen. 8 seconds clear. How is he that much faster? Yeah, he went fast out of the... He attacked out of the pits. I think we lost the race in the pit lane. And now, I don't even know if he'll finish on the podium. Because the next 3-4 cars are right behind us. All the way up to Sharp. So we need to somehow hold them. No, no, there's no point for interest. It's going to get wet again. Just try and hold things as long as you can. I know Sarinen is all over you, but come on. We need 14 laps out of this style. He went in earlier, so he might struggle even more. Becker is just streaked ahead. 
So basically we were holding up the pack. This is such a narrow track and it's wet and it's raining. What it has done is it has given us a chance to compete with these people simply because they can't pass us. Such a narrow track, wet conditions. See even now they are not passing us that easily simply because of the wet conditions. If we can hold on to second I'll be very happy. A bit unhappy that we lost the win but I'll be more than happy with the second place because we need a lot of points. We are fighting Kitano Sport in, uh, in the constructors so that is the main thing here. Winning would be nice but never mind. We want a good finish here because there's still six, seven laps to go, including this one. Seven, including this. Tire wear, like everybody's on the same tire. So we did not get a chance to try something else like last year. Okay, Sarinen is now. Okay, we can use fuel. Fuel is piling up. Okay, use fuel. Because most people are getting thin on fuel now, probably. We are good for fuel. So now it's getting better. Becker is 17 clear so we couldn't have held him if he was behind us we were managing to hold them but once they got past they've just simply breezed off yeah that's over now our aim is to get to the end without losing any more places see now Sarinen is either having trouble with his tires our tires are actually better than Becker's but yeah he's too far ahead to make that into a problem for him see sharp has sharp is actually a better racer I think sharp will pass us okay sharp sharp is okay sharp is fuel save mode okay so hopefully but she's still so fast sharp is saving fuel we are not saving we are actually burning fuel because we are good for fuel. Can Ribeiro do something? No, he is going to stay it. And Becker is just extending his lead. Okay. Sharp is all over us. And she is attacking on the tires. Come on, hold this together. It's two more laps after this. Okay, come on, ease up, sharp. Sharp, your tires will go. Okay, now she's going to get past us. Okay, careful, careful. Come on, keep it together, keep it together. Oh, no, we couldn't hold her. Yeah, tires are going, tires are going. But everybody is in the same situation. Why are our tires struggling so much? Okay, we are in, under severe threat of losing third place as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, holds. Okay, come on, don't let holds pass. This is the final lap. Okay, I know the tires are not in good shape. Maybe attack the engine. Let's go, let's go. We may not have tires left. Everybody is struggling on the tires. Okay. Becker is one. Sharp is second. And we have third. Good job, good job. You have AP8, 3 and 8. Okay, not bad. I would have preferred it, but I don't think we had the car this time. Last time we had the option. The better tire in the middle the inters and we use that so never mind can't be too unhappy about that as long as we scored a lot more than uh, kitano i'll be happy our job will be safe okay i just realized we have promised a lot of bonuses to these guys for collie and race so we may not actually make a lot of money even though we finished well here this could save our season Okay, not bad. Third place is good. I'm happy.
10 and 12 let's see the constructors we are back to six yes that's what we wanted we are 13 clear of kitano okay that makes things a little bit easier not bad podium is good yeah i don't think we could have won the race we got lucky with qualifying but the race is 27 laps and there was nothing everybody one stop everybody used the same tire so simply the cars that looked after the tires were going to win and also showed how slow we were once becker went past he built up 20 seconds also i think we lost the race in the pit stop boss is happy 100 percent again see we made only 400,000. that's probably because of the bonuses we paid off so it's a strange thing we need to structure our bonus payments a bit better so anyway good race for us we got our targets and next up is brazil and it's also going to rain okay so another race to look forward to but the qualifying is dry okay that's not going to help it's a 28 lap race and so i'm guessing one stop again okay so we'll see what happens in brazil right now i'm quite happy with the result in sydney although we we were in the lead briefly we had one and two but we simply did not have the car to yeah we did not have the car to challenge for the win anyway so good result hopefully that saves us our job and i shall see you in the next one take care